Good morning. Hello. It's 11.01 in the morning. Um, third video in 24 hours. I'm on a roll. I expect all of you to unsubscribe because I'm being an annoying fucking asshole now. I'm sorry, but I feel like I have to update, like, what happened this morning at work because, like, I bitched about it in, like, two videos yesterday. So... I went in. I've been up since 7.30 this morning on, like, four hours of sleep, so, like, I'm dying, but I can't sleep. Like, I've just been laying here, like, wanting to die. Um, <clears throat> so, I went in at 9 o'clock, and in my uniform, and my the first thing my manager tells me, oh, they didn't tell you, you know, you don't have to be in your uniform because you're not working today. Thanks. Literally yesterday, Anthony, my customer service team leader, told me, oh, when's the next day you work? You know, just come in before, you know, your shift. So basically, long story short, I've been suspended for two weeks, pretty much. She's like, we've taken you off the schedule. Thank you. And then um, he told me he's going to write me up for my two no-call, no-shows whenever I come back. And then... If I have one more no call no show, um, they'll they'll release release me, aka I'm terminated. I lose my fucking job because it's considered abandonment of job or something like that. I don't fucking know. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to be looking for another part time job, or I'm going back to save a lot, just because overall save a lot like thinking back to it, I was happier there. It was less drama, less stress, and I think it was better for my mental stability, and at this point, that's kind of what I have to focus on, is my mental health, because Publix is just draining to me. Um, some people can handle it. I am not one of those people. I can't handle it. It's just the expectations are totally unrealistic, in my opinion. Like, I can't be myself. I... I'm, I feel like I'm constantly under so much, like, scrutiny and judgment from my management. And, like, I have to be this perfect Publix image, like, person. And I'm not. Like, that's just not who I am. Like, they want you to, like, I don't know. Like, dress. Like, like look presentable and, like, nice and professional. I mean... That, that's like my manager is totally against like tattoos and and like obviously I can't have cool colored hair although before <laughs> before Publix I, I like I that's all I did that's literally all I fucking did like I would dye my hair every month like a different color I loved like I still love dyeing my hair like I had three days off during the summer and I was doing um, a, Lu a Star Guardian Lux from League of Legends cosplay. I legit bleached my fucking hair and dyed it pink for like a day and a half. Just so I could have it for a day and a half. Just because I missed it that much. That's why I had to cut my hair and everything because my hair was so fucked after that. Don't take after me. But um, like I love dyeing my hair. I love, like, obviously I like tattoos. I can't get, I can't stretch my ears. They won't let me. Even, like, this makeup is probably, is way too much. Like, you have to have, mo what is it? Moderate makeup or whatever the fuck they call it. Like, they're super strict about, like, everything like that. And I fucking roll in with tattoos and a choker and, like, wings the size of, like, I don't, I don't even fucking know, I can't, I was trying to think of something witty, but I couldn't, like, these could cut a bitch, I'm just saying, so, whatever, they don't like me for me, oh fucking well, like, this is me, bitch, and like, look at my nails, like, what is this, <laughs> what is this, all the other girls in Publix, like, have their nails, like, nicely done, and here I am with black nail polish that's, like, practically gone because I don't fucking care when I bite my nails but whatever so that's my job situation I'm out of work for two weeks um someone did make a comment though um 
I'm gonna butcher the name, I'm really sorry. K D F O. You always write such nice nice comments. Um, thank you. Um they said here was cool to hear you give a shout out to all your devoted supporters. See, like, I don't get that. Like, I, like I don't get it because, like, I, like I just, I just rant about my life. I don't know why anyone would want to support me. <laughs> I don't know why anyone would be devoted like to supporting me or anything like that. Like the wording is just like it throws me, I guess, off. Just because, like, I'm, like I'm just another person on this planet, and if anything, like you know. We're all alike. I just bitch about it on camera. Um, but um, the comment itself was, was really nice. Thank you so much. You know, it like you guys, you guys are always so fucking nice to me. Like I get a, I get some hate, obviously. Um, I got a lot of hate. I think it was on my separation anxiety video um, a couple years ago when my mom was going to Indiana and I was like freaking the fuck out. I got some hate on that saying how, you know, I was like cold hearted and I didn't understand and like blah 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 because my grandma was hurt. Like, I was just showing like how severe separation anxiety can be f because of agoraphobia it wasn't me being a cold-hearted asshole and i think that's what a lot of people like they just saw it as me not giving a shit about my mom and my grandma when i was just trying to show the severity of like the mental illness itself not trying to use it as justification for me being so fucking rude i guess but i know i got a lot of hate on that video i've gotten some hate on some other videos like my withdrawal videos people saying like why are you even on Clonopin? Blah blah blah. Like you're too young for that shit. Or um, people tell. <laughs> I had someone last week was like, "You shake those bottle of pills around like they're your life. Go outside." I go outside every fucking day. Thank you very much, person. Um, but for the most part, I get a really like an immense amount of like positive feedback and really nice comments and I'm not used to that you know like I'm used to my my fucking parents like belittling me and, and people around here belittling me um for what I have so when when I have people online that actually want to like listen to what I say and actually like I don't want to say care but like kind of care it's um like I don't know how to respond to it it's like almost overwhelming in a way not overwhelming in a bad way um it's extremely nice and I want to be friends with like all of you like legit um because it's just it's so it's so fucking cool you know like that people I don't know like I can't wrap my head around it sometimes like the comments that I get when people are like, oh my god, like, I've seen, I watch all your videos and I always, you know, wait for an update from you. I'm like, why? Like, what makes me so special? I'm just a person. Like you. Like, we're all just, we're all people. Like, I'm, I'm no one special. I'm not, like, internet famous and I'm not, like, a celebrity of any sort. So, um, I don't understand, I guess, that aspect of it. But it is extremely flattering, and, like, from the bottom of my heart, like, thank you for always being so kind. Like, all of you. Um, I know there's a couple people that, like, comment on almost all my videos, and, like, I read every single comment, trust me. Just because I don't respond to them doesn't mean that I don't read them. Um, sometimes I don't know how to respond. Um, which is why I just generally, like, like them, but... Like, I've screenshot them, um, I have, like, I, I keep them on my phone, like, it, it, it's things that help me get through and, you know, get me by, so, and I just want you guys to know that, you know, your words hold more, um, power to me than you think, than you may think that they do, so, thank you, 
like truly. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I can never express my gratitude for everyone who's been so kind to me. Um, cause I'm like, I'm pretty fucked up <laughs> and most people don't accept that. And like a lot of like my subscribers, like you guys like accept that and it's just, it's so cool. So once again, like, thank you truly from like, like the bottom of my heart. I sound like a broken record now. I'm going to shut the fuck up. But, um, okay. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say, I think. But. Yeah, that's all. I'll try to make more frequent videos, maybe. If you if you guys don't unsubscribe. I mean, you can still unsubscribe, it's okay. I know I'm annoying, so... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ta-ta for now.